All right, we are live. This is episode one of Kenji Sato's podcast. Hashtag gang gang. I just got a new microphone from Amazon, and I just wanted to show off by creating this podcast. So here we go. We're going to have one guest star today for your guys' surprise. My roommate, Yume Sato Nakamura. <sighs> What's up, Yume? How's it going? Oh, How are the kids? Sleeping. Sleeping is right. Okay, what we're going to be doing today is something very special for all of our viewers. Especially for one, we're going to be creating a funny picture of a friend. So here we go. Who we decided to pick on today is going to be none other than our matchmaker. Yunji Lee. Now, just as a background, Yunji, super funny girl, super crazy. I think she hijacked a plane full of people once, and she put them all to sleep by talking for an hour and a half on her way to Korea. She's also the Academy Award winner and had a show entirely dedicated to her in New York for a Broadway play. The list of cast, just Yunji. Cool, cool, cool. So while I tell these lies about her, I'm just going to be showing you what I've been working on when I try to record this video like three or four times. You may sick of it, so she will not be doing it. We just picked a photo of her and just decided to put eligible bachelors in their places. So. Um, as we go to Yunji Lee, we decided to go and pick this photo. We got Yunji the blonde. We got, however you say that in Korean, we got Sunji Lee, which is her sister. What did I say, Lee? You may. What did I say? And then this anonymous person. So it's late. So I'm just going to be rushing through all of this. We decided to pick three eligible bachelors. First of all, Ken Watanabe, with a very perfectly symmetrical head and intense and smoldering eyes. And in case Yunji ever got into women, we got her a good friend of ours, Naomi Watanabe. She doesn't know it yet, but we love her, and we think that she should come to our next birthday, our next child's birthday, if I said that correct. Hopefully. And then, last but not least, we got our friend Paul Musso with a very, very promiscuous face. Ooh! <laughs> and then we all smashed up in that uh, in our paint program, and we came out with the final product. Boom! We got Ken Watanabe on the left. We got Yunji on the right. We got Paul Musso on the middle left, and then we got Goo Joon Pyo, a very famous actor from a famous Korean romantic drama? Yeah. Love drama. Love drama. Goo Joon Pyo, very famous man. I think the title, when it's translated to English, is called Boys Over Flowers. So there you have it, Yinji. We got yourself a nice uh, group of Bachelorettes and bachelors. Oh, yeah, we decided not to do Naomi Watanabe because her face was facing like a different way. But we're going to turn that frown upside down and give you a nice smile. Yay. And then we're going to give you some more eyebrows. And then we're going to give Paul a cigarette because he's been doing bad things. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. That's the show. We're going to stop recording now.